konuşmasını yapmak üzere Suriyeli gönüllü aktivistler örgütünün yöneticisi var, Samir Cistri var. Kendisini Kürsü'ye ya da bulunduğu yerden kitabı Evet, Kana Kanada'dan. Yes. First of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Samir Jisri. Uh, I'm a Syrian who visit. I'm going to try to conclude in 15 minutes, and that's my presentation time, usually. Uh, I'm going to try to make my presentation uh, a bit more less numbers and uh, basic solutions in the end. Uh, my presentation will have two short movies of one minute each, and it will have two stories. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our great uh, guests of honor, dignitary, all the audience. Um, I want uh, to start by thank you all on behalf of uh, my government, the Canadian government, Justin Trudeau, and uh, my parliament, and all the Canadian public and myself. I want to start by thanking the organizers for inviting me and all the wonderful audience. I am humbly honored to speak on such important topic, the topic of war disability. This uh, show about a billion human beings or about 15% of the world about 15% of the world population with some sort of disability. But among the Syrian refugees, the percentage of disability uh, based to World Bank is up to 22%. In reality, uh, on the floor in Syria with our contact, I would think that number is a little bit higher. I would say it is one to four ratio. That's about 25% in Syria is disabled right now. And when we say disabled, it could be any kind of disability. It could be minor, or it could be uh, losing an arm or leg. It could be from hearing, it could be from vision. It, there are so many kinds of disabilities. Every day, so many, dis uh, so many new disabilities are introduced to, the, to this world. Some are by birth, and some by our accident. The worst is by the war disability. Our topic uh, specifically involves war disability either through or after war. To emphasize more about my meaning of after war, it specifically means two effects, psychological and biological, but in here I'll be talking about three topics. Uh, 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 psychological disorder effect, uh, biological uh, disorder effect, which is genetically, and physical disorder effect. Since a lot of the professors and uh, other agencies spoke in numbers, I'm going to try to wrap up without going through a lot of numbers. So psychological would uh, include uh, bones and misery, aggressiveness, homelessness, uh, anxiety, isolation. To, uh, sort a short story that happened with me through my work in Canada. This story about a girl named Rakht. Rakht is a Syrian refugee to Canada. Rakht is nine years old. We, as uh, Syria, help about 6,000 new refugees in Canada, and specifically in Ontario and the GTA area. One of the families we, vi we visited have a girl named Rat, nine years old. She lost her leg. She came from a camp in Jordan. When we visited them, we took a gift with us. She been treated and she is going through social assistance and other services in Canada. We stayed in there for about 45 minutes. In the first 15 minutes after we give her the gift and we sit down with her parents to talk, Rakit started to cry after 15 minutes and she walked to us and she said, 
in her own words with tears in her eyes. Would you take this gift? Would you take Canada from me? And would you give me back my leg? So Rani would give up anything in the world for her leg to be back to her. This is my story about Rani from Canada. I would like to play this movie, please. Suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and depression. Ali Samara's daughter died in Syria when an airstrike hit their home. Ali's surviving daughter was right next to her sister. Another example of war disability than the tragic war in Syria right now. The wheel of Syrians' war machine have set in a motion the wheel of countless wheelchairs, bearings, the wounded, disabled, and enabled to move as the cluster and vacuum bombs and other weapons of the Syrian regime have resulted in the paralysis of hundreds of thousands of civilians. published by the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, which, which stated that 2.8 billion Syrians are suffering from permanent physical disabilities because of the ongoing clashes in different parts of Syria. In addition to 30,000 people a month that are subject to uh, psychological trauma due to the conflict. Statistics again, this year, the Syrian Center for Policy Research issued a report start stating that 470 Syrians have been killed. But that report by the United Nations, we would visit it again, and I would say in Syria right now until today, there is one million murders. So one million people have been killed in Syria. In the war, and 1.8 million wounded, this number is from the United Nations, Syria will have to carry for generation to come, not only the terms of the ever uh, mounting physical the destruction, but also in carrying for, for growing daily tool of physical uh, or mental disabled that the war produced. All this at a time. Here I want to talk a little bit about Canada and what Canada have been doing. Canada was a great example of accepting refugees. About 41,000 Syrian refugees came to Canada in the past year. Among them, there is a great number of war disabilities. The number is about 27%. 27% of the 41,000 that came to Canada are with some sort of disability. That we, at our organization, help and take care of on a regular basis. Government programs are great assistance to help them. And if other countries stood up, and in here I want to really appreciate Turkey. Every time I talk about Canada, I do appreciate what Turkey is doing. But I'm encouraging and advocating for other European countries to take action and be an active role model in this. If other countries stood up and carry the same method, it will it will not end the war, it will not end the war disability, but it will make it easier on them. Summaries and conclusions. The United Nations and the World Bank say in a report that calls for the uh, elimination of uh, barriers that often forces people with disabilities to the margin of society. And this is very important in here. Margin of society actually meaning is shoving someone off to the side, neglect, neglecting someone. So this is a report, together we can. If any, of, if any of our family members who are born with a disability, it is hard, but some, 
sort of understandable. But for us as a world community to make our own disabilities, this is something not understandable and not acceptable at all and any measures. So this is me, so one of the needs to adapt this uh, nightmare is to draw them, but here's a little that used to mount now is in the background. So this airplane is sending the fruits. That's a great example of how you normalize the lives of these children by engaging them in the sorts of things they would have done had they not been trauma. This is precisely what we need to be doing in the aftermath of trauma is normalizing life as much as we possibly can. Helping the children is also a way for Abu Halal to deal with the trauma of his own experiences of imprisonment and torture in Syria. Actually, it is a very terrible experience to be arrested in this circumstances. It is a great example of how we can do it. Mr. Hilal work is a wonderful example of all of us NGOs, how we can do it by working all together. I want to mention in here something in Arabic for the Arabic speaking people and then I'll say it in English. And in English, the word refugee doesn't mean being poor or needy. It rather means being stateless. In November last year, in November last year, I had the honor to meet with a professor. His name was Hugh Her, and probably the professors from the universities in here would know this person. Hugh Her is the president of research department as Mr. Tonic Leg Inventor, an amazing person who didn't. He is himself as disabled with no leg. He made his own legs. A wonderful example how we can carry on in this life. I think I'm going to wrap up with this and I want to say thank you, thank you to everyone who attended. Together we can do it. If every one of us stand, advocate, work hard, we can make it easier. We will never end it. It will never end. But we could just make it easier on those needy and those disabled. I want to call uh, on the president uh, of uh, DESM. Uh, I do have a, a token of appreciation uh, from our organization for her, please. God bless you all. Thank you so much. And I hope uh, I see you in better times. Thank you. Çok teşekkürler. Kanada'dan gelen konuğumuz Sandeci Siyah. Kendilik gerçekten çok